Hey there, y'all. This hair's not idiots. Yeah. Oh yeah. Now today, yeah. we. <laughs> now today, you say we gonna teach you how to fix your damn tractor. And I got here a little some tough here. Pull that bitch up and get out your six pack. We gonna get started here, damn it. I got four and a half tubes. I'm gonna hook up the half of the one of them off there. Alright, anyway. What we saying? Today, guys. Serious. Alright, we're serious. We're gonna be talking about. Scary dreams. I gotta turn the lights off for this one. That's good enough. I got one light off. Alright. Scary train. <laughs> Alright, let's go first. I, I'll go ahead and go first because I have my dreams I kind of thought of. Go ahead because I still don't really know exactly what we're going to be doing, so. But it's kind of our scary dream experiences. Some of the scary dreams we've had. We'll be talking about them. Alright. Okay. So. Alright, right, I'm gonna start off from one early childhood. Alright. So I think of one dream. I am one when I talk when I'm talking about scary dreams, one dream comes to mind. And this is I had this dream, it was a reoccurring dream. You have those reoccurring dreams when you're a little kid. And I had this one reoccurring dream. Um and I'll just talk about one experience with this reoccurring dream that I remember in particular just because I was at Gavin and Eli's house when I had this. Um so I was like, just, I was really little. I was like six or seven or something like that when I had this. Um, but so pretty much what the dream is is I was laying in a bed, and it was in the <coughs> pitch black, pitch black emptiness. Just this is floating bed and me in it. It's a pitch black emptiness. And right in front of my bed was a steel door, and I'll just be laying there with the, you know, with the covers up to my you know chin and everything, and I'd just be kind of looking at the steel door, and then it would just be banging. And the door would start banging louder and louder and louder. And I couldn't do anything about it. I couldn't get out of the bed because there's nothing around there. So I'll just stay in the bed scared. And it'd get louder and louder and louder. So then there's a little window on the door, the steel door. And it was this guy. And he had blood on down his face and a bunch of nails in his head. And that was the guy just like slamming and everything, slamming the door louder and louder. And I just felt like he would come out. But he never actually really did come out. So, you know, pretty much the breakdown of it was Gavin in a closet, and he never came out of the closet. He never came out of his gay. That's all I'm trying to get at. That's probably what it was. That's probably the symbolic terms of the dream. No, but seriously, I had this dream recurring, and, you know, sometimes I would have it weekly. It was awful, awful dream, but he never did come out the door, and I never really understood that. But I had that one dream, um... At Gavin's house, or Gavin Eli's house, and before any of that happened, like I was going up the stairs, and then I lay, <laughs> I was going up the stairs, and I laid in the bed, and then I woke up in the dream, and then it was a bunch of empty blackness with a steel door. So that's one dream. <laughs> I can <do>. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Um. <laughs> Mike, what's going on? Yeah. All right. So who's that? Yeah. No, that's an inside joke, Eli. You weren't there. So who's <laughs> Alright, I'll go next. Cause he's dying over here. Alright, so... Uh, I'm gonna talk about two dreams I've had. They're, they're not so much horror. I don't know. One of them was really scary to me at the time when I was <coughs> young, so I'm gonna say that one. And then, I'm gonna say the weirdest one first. Uh, this wasn't so much a horror. Like a scary dream, more of like a weird dream that now that I look back at, I think it's kind of scary. Uh, when I was really little, I had an out of body experience. I can't remember how old I was exactly. All I remember was uh, I remember I was really little. I was like probably like six or seven. I remember when I, we were at the store, and uh, I would get in. I would used to always get in the carts and stuff, and I lay down and stuff. I remember one time I fell asleep, and I just remember my, just like in the dream, I was looking down at myself while we were in the store. And that's all I remember, that's all I really remember to it, but I don't know, just like, 
with all the theories people have and stuff about I, my body experiences and stuff nowadays, and I just think it's kind of scary. And if then, yeah, yeah. If you're watching this, look up OBEs. Look those up. That's nothing. Yeah, there's some weird stuff to it. That's all I remember out of my. I just remember looking down at myself in the. My I was laying down in the cart. And uh, my actual like scary story. It's the only one I can really remember. I've had some horror, like, some scary shit. Like, I remember there was one I kept having last year, and I don't remember it clearly anymore. So, uh, one I remember that when I had this one when I was, like, 10, you know, scared me at the time. I remember what the dream was. I was in the kitchen, and, uh, I don't know if anyone remembers Jimmy Neutron. The dad from Jimmy Neutron... Yeah. For some reason in the dream, Jimmy Neutron's dad was my dad. So take out my dad from the family. It was Jimmy Neutron's fucking dad. Yeah, I don't know. And I, uh, basically, just out of fucking nowhere. We were just all in the kitchen, right? Just, I remember it was just, uh, actually Gavin wasn't there. He wasn't in the dream. But it's just me and my mom and my, and my dad all in the kitchen. And you know, you guys know the window in my kitchen, right? Uh, you know how, like, it can be a screen? Yeah, yeah. The screen, it was, like, the screen, like, if the screen was open. And, uh, she's fucking out of nowhere. The biggest fucking honeybee you could ever fucking imagine just flew through the fucking window. <laughs> it fucking attacked us. No. This is the more random thing about that. that. No, no, no. This is the more random thing about that. <laughs> Yeah. And then a bumblebee. Like, no, it was fuck? a giant fucking honeybee. Like, this honeybee wasn't just, like, the size of me. It was probably, like, the size you of... You must say something of... weird. No, it was probably, like, the size of two of me. And this is the funniest part about it. Jimmy Neutron's fucking stupid-ass dad. He comes at it with one of those fucking tiny fly swallows trying to fucking kill it. <laughs> <laughs> He fucking got stung, right, and he time. fucking got attacked. I don't know. That's all I remember. I remember that Cameron, shit was... tell about that one where you were at my house, and it was about the cabin in the woods, dude. That is terrifying. Who, Cameron? Wait, what? Fuck, dude. The, the dream about when you're in, ca in the cabin in the woods, and the girl's like chewing oh. her fingers and shit. Oh, I can't remember, dude. How old is that? That was like just like the last time he came over. Really? Yeah. Dude, I can't remember that at all, dude. Um, I've had so many terrifying dreams. Holy shit. I have sleep paralysis all the time. I want to know that cabin dream. I'll tell you about a dream I just had last night that was pretty fucking scary. I've been hanging out with all these kids and everything, and they just moved into their house not too long ago, and um, the house is fucking weird. Like, it's just, it's, it's, it's one of those old ass houses. And, you know, we're just hanging out in there, and my friend Brandon tells me that's haunted and everything like that. And this is all after me and this other guy named Ryan walked through the living room. There's nobody in the fucking house but me and him, and we fucking heard a girl talk to us. We heard it. I swear, I died by that, dude. I heard it. And then the next day after that, Brandon told us that the house is haunted with a girl and, a, like, a mom. <laughs> like, a girl and, like, an old lady mom that the girl, like, like, this is a legit thing. Like, the dad was, like, telling the truth. Like, the people they bought it from was telling him about all this shit. Like those curtains, they're not supposed to move. That's just weird as fuck. So last, but the night before I learned all that, I had a fucking dream about that house. And it was me and all those kids, we were in there. And this guy named Justin busts through the door. And he's just like, it's a fucking ghost. So we all try to break out his window. And then the kid Ryan gets stuck in there. And it's so fucking weird because it's just like an old white like woman. She's a ghost. She's all bullying crippling. And she, like, grabs his face and, like, yanks him. Like, he's fucking dead. He's gone, okay? So he's gone. I see that out the window. And so I'm just like, uh, I'm going to fucking jump off the roof. And, like, just that clip. I had that clip in my dream. Like, go oh, fuck Lord, all that shit the next morning. And so I don't like hanging, hanging out with them, though. Is that the house where that you're, like, is that, hey, is that okay. when you... Wait, wait, is that when you were, I'm like, I talked to us from from Twitter and that, like, you're fucking up with us about that one stuff? Yeah, yeah. That no, house. it wasn't that night, but it's those people, yeah. Oh, what about that house, yeah, though? Yeah, it's fucking a weird ass. Yeah, it's that same house. Oh, fuck. 
You got any more dreams, Cameron? Yeah, I can't fucking remember. I, I want to remember that cabin one because I, I feel like I remember talking about that, but I just can't remember. So that was like probably that. I will never forget that dream that you told me about. It sounds so terrifying because we had similar dream. Dude. Like after you told me about that dream, I had like a dream that was influenced by that. Uh, let me let me explain. Let me explain. All right. We'll end the episode off with this because this is like probably the scariest by far. It's the way you explain. Do you know the story? Scary. I know the story completely. I know your dream completely. What you told me. I was driving you back to your house, and you're telling me about this dream. All right. Like the last time you. No, it was over the summer actually. It wasn't last. Time. Um. Yeah. Just, uh, okay. So what you told me, I run the car, talking and everything. And you said you had this really scary dream. I was like, all right, dude, tell me. And so what you said was um, you were deep in the woods, and I think you said you were with me. I think it was me and you, and then like you said, some of your friends too. So it was all of us, and we were kind of in this cabin in the woods, deep in the woods. And you said it was like misty and stuff outside of the cabin and everything. And uh, you said that um, for some reason, like you had this really eerie feeling about this place, and uh, there's a it was a girl haunting, haunting this cabin, and nobody wanted to go outside because it looked spooky outside and everything. But there was windows, so, like there was windows in the cabin. And so, like, it was starting to turn nighttime and everything, and um, you guys would be looking out the window, and you'd be seeing this girl, and she looked like the Grudge Girl that had the hair over and the oh, um, fuck and, yeah. uh, skirt on and everything. That shit was creepy. Yeah, yeah, keep listening to the story. Like, keep saying, listen. listening to this. Yeah, I'm listening. And I'm so, listening. Yeah, yeah, so Cameron said that um, they would look out, and they'd see her just standing there with her hair over, and then, like, she would, her hair would open up, and you, so it'd be like this, and just, like, you see her, and I'm nowhere, just like... Pfft. She'd be like looking in. Wait, 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 Did I tell you it was like all like snowy outside too? Like it was winter? Probably, yeah. Maybe yeah, I'm thinking was, of a like... dream that's sounding a lot like that, but it's it's just got a lot of different settings and it kinda of happened the same way. The dream I'm talking well, about, I, I was in like an old place. Yeah, yeah, you just finished. Hey, let me, let me finish this. Let me, let me, yeah, let me finish yeah, this because no, no, the one thing that really scared me is like this part, right? So when she would look at you and you guys said you guys looked back out there and she was just like chilling in her like hands like this and like looking really deep into you and blood was dripping out of her like, her fingers and stuff like that and then like I, like you looked away and then you looked back and she was gone and then out of nowhere she just like popped up just like this and then like you woke up or something like that yes dude that was, like, you oh, told me about that I told you about that dream Karen told me about right yeah you told me about that because I mean, the only thing I remember from that I remember you told me about the fucking popped up thing you told me that happened yeah, in yeah, dream. Yeah. That's not scary. So then, listen, listen, listen. So then I was influenced by that dream since you told me that, because I thought I was, like, scared. You know, dude. So then I was in the cabin with the woods. I don't remember any... I was with my friends, okay, actually. And me and my friends found a VCR tape. And it was in the cabin. It's the only thing Wait, that was real in, life in the cabin. It was a VCR tape and a TV. No, 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 no. This is a dream. I, had Gosh, I got scared. I was like... There was, a, there was a TV just like this. And it had a VCR slot right here, so you put the VCR tape in the TV to watch it. And it was just a VCR and the VCR TV. And so we're just like, what the hell is this? You know, there's no label or anything. And we put it in. And the fucking most terrifying dream I've probably ever had in my life. It was a, a tape of a demonic possession. Of a girl that was demonically possessed on the on the TV. So we all looked, popped it in, and like we're all huddled around it, just wondering what it was. And I was like, dude, I cannot watch this. I'm not watching this, dude. This is, there's no way. And then there's a couple of, like, of my friends just is watching it and staring at it or something. It was so fucking scary. And it's, like, the only thing I can remember from the dream. That's fucked up. But yeah, dude. It's <laughs> fucked up, bro. Yeah. That's fucking scary. He looks so sick, Cameron. He, he's just, like, 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 he looks like he's just, like, fuck life. Fucking, like, dead. I'm not even, like, I'm already, like, confirmed not going to school tomorrow. It's not even tomorrow yet. That blows my mind. That's how fucking sick I am. I was about to go to bed right before you guys called me. I was just, like, eating some crackers and some 7-Up. <laughs> that's just, bed. like, sick. That, that's sick food. Just thinking about yeah, What do you think good. about food yeah, yeah. when you're sick? It's crack, crackers and 7-Up. I'm sitting over here. Salty crackers and, 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 and toast. And toast. Some crackers. <laughs> Alright, Cameron's sick. We're gonna let him go to the rest. Sleep. 
Sorry, I didn't talk about episode. Hope it was really spooky for you guys because it's October. And yeah. So if you liked it, like the video, and thanks for watching.